my YouTube friends. Multi-streaming is all the rage these days. And I totally get that. If your content strategy is built around live streaming, why not reach the largest audience possible with your content? So I decided to do a video series that's gonna show you how to connect OBS to all the different platforms easily. Today, I'm gonna show you how to connect OBS to Kick. It's pretty easy stuff, so you know what? Let's get to it! Now for this video, I'm gonna assume that you already set up your Kick account. If not, you may wanna do that first and then pick up the video here and follow along. Let's connect up OBS. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go up into this profile button here and we're gonna click new. Now, I've got a lot of profiles in here. You're not gonna have a lot of profiles. You may just have one and that's just fine. But we wanna click new on the profile button right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this kick and we want the show auto configuration wizard to be in here. So we're gonna click okay. And we wanna optimize for streaming with recording secondary. Perfect. That's what we want. So we'll click next. And then we wanna set our current base canvas, which should be 1920 by 1080. I think that's what most people are streaming in. Then we've got our frames per second and we want to choose what exactly our frames per second would be optimally. So we can let it do the test and select it on its own. Generally speaking, if you're gonna do games and stuff, 60 is probably what you want. If you're just doing talking head live streams, 30 is fine. You can just set it to 30 if you're just gonna be doing talking head stuff. If you're not doing talking head stuff, but you don't know if your machine is capable of 60 frames per second, leave it in either. And then it will test to see if it's capable. So now we wanna select the service. So in this case, we want kick. But if you go in here, you're gonna see that you can go all the way down to the bottom and you're never gonna find kick in here because it's not one of the standard services. So what we're gonna do is go up here to custom and we just need our server and our stream key. So to get the server and stream key, we've gotta go into kick. So we're gonna go into our browser here and we're gonna go up to the top right and we're gonna click on our creator dashboard. Then all we need to do is go into our channel and select stream URL and key. And for the stream URL, we could click the little eyeball and it's going to give us a six digit code that they send to your email. So you just gotta grab that code and go back into the page and boom. And there we go, now we've got our code. So I'm just gonna copy that out with control C and we'll go back into OBS and we're gonna paste that code in there. Uh, that's the server and we need our stream key. So we're going to go back in here and we're going to go ahead and copy our stream key and we'll go back into OBS and we'll paste our stream key in here. Now we want to have prefer hardware encoding selected because if you do have a hardware encoder on your machine, you want it to do that. And we want to estimate the bit rate and the bandwidth with a test, which is fine. It may take some time. But we want that because it's going to set everything up in the best way that our machine and our connection is capable of doing. So once we do that, we just click next and we click yes on here. And it's going to go through its connection process to see what your bandwidth is and all that good stuff. This could take a couple of moments. Once it's done, boom, here's what you get. Now, some of this stuff is great. Some of it, not so great. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here it tells you the server. It tells you that it doesn't have multi-track video. It also gives you your video bit rate and that video bit rate is exceptionally high. And I'll show you how to fix that in a second. Other than that, our hardware encoder, perfect. High quality, perfect. We've got 1920 by 1080 on both our scaled and other output and our frames per second checked out at 60. So everything else is perfect. We're gonna click apply settings. We wanna go in there and change that bit rate. A 10,000 bit rate is gonna look great, but it's totally unnecessary. So we're gonna click on settings and we're gonna go into our output. And right here, you can see we've got our video bit rate right there. And all we're gonna do is just change that up. Now it will work with a 4,000 bit rate just fine. However, you can set it to 6,000 and 6,000 will be just fine. I live stream at 6,000 and I like the quality. Once again, if you struggle, which you shouldn't because it just ran the test, but if you struggle, you could mark it down to 4,000 and you'd be just fine. So there is definitely no need for a 10,000 kilobits per second 
video bit rate. 6,000 is fine. I'd go in here and change it. Click apply, click OK. Now we're literally ready to live stream. All we have to do is click start streaming and we're live streaming on Kick. So what if we wanted to live stream from Kick but also to another platform. There are a couple of different plugins that you can use. We're gonna use the A to Multistream to show you how to do this, but just be aware there is other ones. There is the multiple output plugin and they basically all work the same. Atom is just one of the more popular ones, so it makes sense to use that. So I'm gonna click on it right here and I'm gonna bring it over here and stick it in here now. Needless to say, if you don't have the Atom Multistream plugin installed, you're going to have to install that first. Once it's installed, this is what you're going to see. So we've got Kick on the built-in stream, and we want to add maybe YouTube. So we can click right here and go to our main canvas, and we're just going to add an output. And we can select whatever one we want, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Trovo, X, Kick, whatever. We're going to select YouTube and we're gonna do the YouTube output and we can do the primary server and all we need is our YouTube stream key. So let's go ahead over to YouTube and I'll show you how to get your stream key. So in your YouTube studio, you're gonna go ahead and click on go live up here in the top right. And from here, you can just go up here to where it says stream and this is gonna bring all this stuff up. Here is your stream key. So we can just copy the stream key right here and then we can flip back over into OBS, paste our stream key right here, click create output and okay. And now we have YouTube and kick built right in. So when we click start streaming, we're gonna automatically stream to both. And we can continue to add more outputs to stream to as long as we have the bandwidth to live stream to those outputs. Needless to say, if you struggle or if you're having problems with bandwidth, you can go from 6,000 kilobits per second to 4,000 kilobits per second in that bit rate, free up a little bit more bandwidth. But otherwise, you're all set. Now you know how to add Kick into OBS so you can live stream there. And if you want to multi-stream, how to add another live streaming platform like YouTube using the Atom multi-stream tool. Pretty cool and pretty easy. Now I told you it was pretty easy. Is there something that I missed or a platform that you want to see a tutorial on how to connect? Let me know about it down in the comments. Now you may want to see all of your chats in one place. It really makes multi-streaming a lot easier. You can check this video out to see how you can have all of your chats right in OBS. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.